Hey Tinker Nerds, this is a new type of video that I'm trying to do where I show you guys kind of a behind the scenes look at the projects that I'm doing while I'm doing them. The project that I have in store for you guys is how to fix an iPod Classic 5th generation with a dead hard drive by replacing that hard drive with a compact flash camera card. So uh, without any further ado, let's get started. So the parts that you'll need to make this project work are a broken iPod with a bad hard drive, this little compact flash camera adapter, which you can find here, compact flash camera card, this is a 32 gigabyte, but it can be generally any size, and then these nifty little um, iPod prying bars that are meant for the iPod Classic, um, which you can use to pry the sides apart. To get started, you need to first open up the iPod using the little iPod pry tool. Just go around the side of the case like this, prying up the face of the iPod until you are able to separate it from the backing. Now before you can open up the iPod, you first have to unlatch the battery cable which is located here. Just pull up the, the little tab, as you see here, and that should release the cable and allow you to open up the case fully. The next step is to remove the hard drive. To do this, just flip the hard drive over so that you can see where the cable is attached to the hard drive. Now, if you'll notice the side of the little cable clip here, you can flip it up and this will dislodge the cable so that you can pull it out. The next thing that you want to do is take the compact flash card and insert it into the attachment. Now position the attachment in the iPod so that it fits snugly and won't dislodge easily. Now you should be able to take the hard drive ribbon cable and insert it into the attachment. And make sure to push down on this little cable clip to secure the ribbon cable into place. Now take the battery cable and put it back into the little insert that you removed it from, lock it into place, and reassemble your iPod. Now you should be able to turn on your iPod, plug it into your computer, and restore it using iTunes. However, this did not work for me because I'm still getting this error message. And even though I've put the iPod into disk mode, and plugged it into the computer, it is still not recognized in, in the computer. I've used both Mac and Windows and I'm still not able to get it to recognize. So if you all have any tips on uh, what I can do to further troubleshoot this and try to get it to work, please let me know in the comments below and hopefully together we can get this issue resolved. 